I will be separating this space over here with shoes. This is the bedroom and I'll love to have a walk-in closet on the other side so it will be separated into two with shoes. I'm just arranging the cubes to see how I can make two sides that would still give me an opening to pass through it and high enough to make it look like it's a wall. I got these cubes from Ikea and they are really, really large, larger than the regular cubes that they sell at Walmart and in Target. I had two or three different ways of arranging the cubes, but when I was sure of a particular one that fit my design, I held all the cubes together with construction adhesive. Now that I have the pattern, I'll be starting off by covering the back with boards. Adding up all the cubes together gave me a height that is close to about 8 feet tall. I also covered the other set of cubes and this is what it looks on the inside. And this opening here is going to be closed with white duct tape. I went back to the back of the cubes to attach 3D panels to it. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'll be attaching the panels with this strong construction adhesive. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. When I was done covering up this side, I went over to the wall next to it. The edges will be covered up with trim. And the gaps that you see there will cover it up with caulk. When I was done at the back, I went to the front and the little space that I have in between the cubes there, I'll be covering it with marble contact paper that I got from Walmart. I'll be adding a shelf right here. I measure the space that I have and I got wood that will fit in there for the shelving and I painted it white. I will love to maximize these cubes as much as I can. Now because the IKEA cubes are really large, I'll be having two pairs of shoes in one cube instead of a pair. I'll use a board to separate the cubes in a stylish way, diagonally like this. Now because if you put shoes in there, it will slide down and I wouldn't want that. So I'm going to be attaching a stopper to the board. I'm using a trim, but you can also use wood and other things that you feel can stop your shoes from sliding down. Since I'm using a trim, I'll be using my angle cutter to cut the trim to the size that I want and just enough for the cubes that I would love to split into two. I'm using a staple gun to attach the trim to the board. Now, if you are using something thicker as your stopper, you can use nails or screws. 
Your stopper can also be covered in a decorative contact paper. Because the pattern is gonna be alternating, I will have some here and the other ones on the other side. You will see it clearly and you will understand why I'm doing this when the boards will be inserted in the cubes. This is how the boards will be placed and that is why the placement for the stoppers are different. The back of the boards will be covered. With contact paper, I have white and red and I couldn't choose which one to use, so I'm just gonna use both of them. They will not be obviously seen, but at some certain angles, you will be able to see the white and the red. The slight bump that you see here are because of the staple pins. The boards look really thin compared to the entire cube, so I will have something in front of it. This is the angle cutter that I'll be using to help me make all the angle cuts that I have on this trim. I made sure I made the marks from the cubes before cutting the first piece and then using that piece as a template for all the other pieces. I just placed them in there, but before I make them permanent, I'm gonna be adding lights around them. This is a thick LED light that's just gonna be at the background. Now the list for all the items that I'll be using in this project are gonna be down in the description box below. At a corner, a part of the LED strip was exposed, so I'm gonna hide that with a little plant. This is a thinner LED strip that I'll be using for the boards. I later decided that instead of leaving the pieces in front white, I covered it with gold contact paper, just to make it look more interesting. The cubes that are not separated will be used for bags and purses. I'm also going to add a few decorative items. The cube walls that I made have no doors, so I'll be using curtains instead. This is what the partition now looks like. Now on the other side, you'll see how the shoes and other items have been placed. Created a space. In my head it was empty. Can you guys see the red boards <laughs> that are hiding? Well, at this angle, you can see the red boards, but on the other side, what you're gonna see are the white boards and they all look so good from both sides. I also added push lights. There are other things that I'll be using this area for, and you will see that in the other video for the walk-in closet. Now this large space has been separated in style. This is such a cute and functional space, and I loved making this and sharing it with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Created.